Alright students, the kiln is below temperature, it's less than 100, so I can open it up. Here we go. Let's see what it looks like. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um, that is a lot of broken things. Ah, uh, geez. Um, let me get the things that survived out. Uh, there are some things that didn't. Yeah, that's a little heartbreaking. Shoot. All right. Uh, well, yeah, let me clean this up, see what survived, and then we'll see what's underneath. Doesn't look good. Yeah, we'll get there. So, students, all this was clay. Um, evidence of clay here. So, um... What we're going to look at is, did any of this survive? Not really. Here are the pieces that did. A lid, some kind of bowl, some fragments of some broken pieces, a lantern. But all this stuff has to now be thrown away um, because we can't reclaim it and reuse it. So all this clay is now slightly no longer useful to us. So right there, that's a lot of garbage uh, that we can't reclaim anymore. So you, you probably need to get better at wedging. Because if your stuff was in that one, it probably blew up. We also have our second show. Oh no, look at this. Sides of pieces that look like we were just blown off. Mugs that had giant air pockets inside of them. So much, so many things. I'm gonna save the pieces of the things so you can see possibly where you went wrong. There's some air bubbles in there. Um, so, you need to probably do better at wedging. Students, a lot, a lot of things blew up in the kiln because we're not wedging right. And I have some proof here for you. This one, a cup, a mug, there was air in here and it just blew it apart from the center out like that. Uh, this wall was slipped and scored on here well, you can see, but it wasn't slipped and scored on on the top or the bottom well. And so when that air pocket blew off, it took everything else with it. So that's garbage. This one, he did all the sides right, right? But this bottom corner on the bottom looked like it had some air in it and it blew it away. So this one doesn't work. This one had a whole bunch of air on the side and it just blew off big giant chunks of that. Um, this person made something so beautiful. They don't score and slip this on well enough. And then they had an air pocket in the bottom of theirs. It's still usable, but that's a lot of sanding. Speaking of a lot of sanding, uh, some of you that actually have finished yours might have a lot of sanding to do. Uh, another one done so well, but then right here, air pocket somewhere here in the bottom of it, and it just blew it apart like so. Uh, this one, this one had an air pocket in the bottom right here of their piece and looked like they had an air pocket in the base of your piece. You can sort of see that. So in the bottom there and then one right here and it blew off the handles on both sides and the bottom of this one. So a lot of these, even though you put a ton of effort into it, just one little spot had some air in it and blew it out. So if this happened to any of you, this is something to look for in your own work and say, hey, where am I wedging wrong? Where did I need to? Like this one, this one survived pretty well, but like this giant pocket blew out there. So it's no longer good. I mean, this one had a lot of air pockets in it. So these are the biggest pieces that I could find in there because you saw how little all those are, but we had so many with some air pockets there, okay? So, if that happened to your work, I apologize, that sucks. I really know how that feels, but you need to really wedge better this time. If you do not know how to wedge, find someone who has had their project survive and ask them for some pointers. 
It's uh, not okay. It's okay to get help. It's not okay to just sort of struggle on, okay? So if any of your projects did this, uh, please just be a little bit careful when you're wedging. Make sure to do it the 30 times. And then if anything like yours that didn't get on like this, slip and score, make sure you're slipping and scoring it on really well, okay? All right. For the ones that have projects survive, like this or this, congratulations. Maybe your project looks like this or this. Uh, your next step is gonna be sanding. And eventually, for those who are still remaking theirs, or are going to have to remake yours, there's a lot of people just like you that are gonna have to do it. Eventually, you're gonna get to this sanding stage. So, pay attention. So if you have a mat mug like this and it's very smooth, uh, what you're gonna do is look for little imperfections, things like this little chip here, any of this, and you wanna make this buttery smooth. You're gonna put your hand on it and feel any rough spots and you're gonna sand that down. For someone like this, they're gonna have a ton. This was just clay they left on there and they're gonna have to sand that down smooth. So they may want to make another one or they might want to really just spend weeks sanding this. Uh, they're gonna have to do around their handle, underneath. All this was just clay they left there and it fired really warm on there. So it's nice and stuck on now. So you're gonna have to sand and sand and sand, okay? So that is what your job is now. Um, same thing for the lanterns. If yours is like this, you're gonna probably have less sanding to do. You're gonna have these little things on the side right here that you're gonna have to sand off. You're gonna sand inside a little bit. Uh, for your mugs, you definitely wanna sand inside as well. For someone who has a little bit more rough cuts on theirs, they're gonna have a lot more sanding as you can see. All that stuff has to be sanded down. Now, where do we find the sandpaper? I'll show you. All right, for sanding, you're gonna come over here, grab a mat that's for glaze. It should have some glaze on it. If you're gonna use this mat, put it back here by the pencil sharpeners. Sandpaper's here, grab the sandpaper that is the best. They can look like this, they're very good. Also, these can be useful as well. You'll grab your mat, you'll put it down, and you'll start sanding everything super smooth.